Okay, good morning. Welcome to Wait, we're number 614A. Uh, 614A. So today we're going to talk about a problem that I, I've actually been meaning to talk about for a while called the coupon collector problem. Okay. Um, and I was reminded of it yesterday when you were playing a game with your dice. How did yep. that game work? Well, I was rolling dice and I wanted to see how long. There's only five dice and I wanted to see. Alright, so five dice. And I wanted to see how long it would take to get all five dice face up. One number. Okay. If I rolled them, well. Ooh, what would you do in this situation? I would have to re-roll since I don't know which dice to follow. So. Okay. To re-roll, it would be two. All right. So I would do that. Three. Now there's two possibilities. There's only one. It's four. Five. Six, and so on until. These two, both twos, and however long it took out before that, okay. and I did it a hundred times. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, wow. How? What was the quickest time? Two. Two times? Yeah. Wow. And what was the longest time? Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Huh. The average was about 11.72. About? About. <laughs> cool. That was a fun experiment. Why were you doing that? I don't know. It just, just seemed to be fun. You just liked it? Okay. Well, neat. So we're going to talk about uh, a problem that's related to that. Um, and we can actually do it with dice and understand it with dice. The coupon collector problem goes something something like this. Let's say there are a, um, 100 coupons. Or you can think of them as like um, an analogous problem, like uh, there's 100 new magic cards that, and they come in packs of... What do magic cards come in packs of? 15. 15, okay. And, and pretend that the magic cards in the packs of 15 are all all randomized. So every pack is just random out of the 100 cards. Okay. So the question is how many packs of cards do you have to buy in order to expect that you'll get all 100 cards? Hmm. Okay. Interesting problem. Yeah, so 15 times 6 is 90, 15 times 7 is 105. 105. So do you think if you bought 7 packs you would get all 100 cards? No, you'd no. probably get repeats. Okay, you'd probably get repeats. Some cards get repeats of. Yeah. Now, what's the analog analogous problem? Like, if we had six dice. So, wait, just a question on the last problem. It's like it. Each card in the pack can be any of the hundred cards. You That's can have right. Repeats in the pack. You could potentially have repeats in the pack. Yeah. All right. Does that ever happen, by the way, when you buy magic cards? Do you ever get repeats in the no, pack? No. Ah, so that that tells you actually that the cards are not put in randomly. Right, because if they were put in randomly every now and then, even in the pack, you'd get a repeat. Yeah. But anyway, so our problem, we're going to have six dice. Actually, to start off on our problem, we're going to have six dice. And you're going to roll them one at a time. They're going to be like six uh, random things, and they come in packs of one. Okay, and the question is, how many times are we going to have to roll the dice to get all six numbers. Okay, do you see why that's a similar problem to the to the yeah to the magic card problem? It's a little bit different than, than your problem. Yeah. Um, but it's really, can you see how it's related to your problem? So yeah, well, it's just basically adding one more die to the, my problem. It's adding one more die to the problem, but we're not going to necessarily roll all the dice at the same time. We're going to roll them one at a time. Oh. Um, and you were looking for. I was rolling them all at the same time. Yeah, so that's one difference. Uh, another thing is you were looking for all the numbers to be the same. Yeah. Here we're looking to get all the numbers. You want me to get all. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright, so let's um, let's go to the next uh, let's go to the next video and, and study this our our specific problem. Alright.